What's good people, it's Jay Coffee Talk. How you guys doing today? Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, but check it out, man. Lloyd Banks, the punchline king. One of the nicest uh, rappers in the game over the, I don't know, the, the 2000s to 2010 decade, in my opinion. You know, I really, really liked Banks. I felt like we never got to see his full potential as far as what he could accomplish in the rap game. I don't know, like things got a little funny, in my opinion, after um, Hunger For More. You know, like the first album, I felt like he had the proper support behind him. And then after that, things got a little screwy. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not saying that like Fifth wasn't trying to push him. Some of the delays and problems and things like that were Banks' fault, you know, um, but Fifth did get a little funny pushing his career also, in my opinion. And, um, you know, we've seen some kind of riffs and things between them. But but anyways, we'll get back to talking about that in a second. Uh, what I want to talk about right now is it seems Lloyd Banks is trying to send us some kind of uh, messages. He says he feels like he might relapse, right? He tweeted out. And um, I don't know, man, like... If you guys are new to the channel, you know, for those who are already here, we know how, who already rock with me, know how it goes. It's all about hearing from the people. So get in the comments. Let's talk about this. What is Bank saying? You know, because it's kind of been ever since his departure from G Unit Records, like officially, you know, came uh, and, you know, it kind of confirmed the feelings a lot of us had that there was. Uh, some issues between him and 50 but they kept it they kept it pretty much to themselves which you know that was cool especially being as petty as fifth is I'm surprised to see things went that way you know he almost kind of took it a little further when he put that you know uh that fifth that uh that post up that lloyd banks was leaving and starting blue hefner records or whatever but um you know they they pretty much kept it 100 amongst themselves which which is is good we see too much things get put out there for everybody to see nowadays you know that should remain uh in the cut but um you know he's his retirement status has been kind of unclear you know um we never got some of the mixtapes we were promised that were going to come from banks um you know and then he's like said that he's retired but then he's kind of almost hinted that he's trolling us we're not really sure so is he saying he's going to relapse with some new music um I don't know. I mean, we've also heard Banks talk about how he's quit smoking, but, you know, we know uh, Lloyd Banks used to be heavy on that, you know, that tree. He stayed putting some in the air. So, I mean, he could just be talking about that. I don't know. He could be talking about a lot of things. I'm hoping that Lloyd Banks is trying to tell us that he's, you know, wants to get back in the booth and put some new music out there is what I'm hoping. So, Get in the comments. Let me know your guys' thoughts on everything I touched on in this video. As I said, that's what Jay Coffee talks all about on this channel. But I also want to ask another question to y'all. Um, you know, as we know, Banks is not really G Unit anymore. He's done with G Unit, and G Unit really isn't G Unit anymore. It's not really. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's still. I mean, I mean, there still is G Unit Records and everything. But I'm saying, just like G Unit is an active rap collective crew group whatever you want to call them doesn't really it doesn't really exist anymore you know we know fifth you might as well call him retired from the rap game in my opinion but um you know we still got uh uncle murder that's about it tony ayo <laughs> let's not even talk about tony ayo no disrespect to tony ayo the talk of new york tony ayo but as far as the rap game goes Eh, you know, but our Uncle Murder, we got him, but that's about it. You feel me? So if Banks were to get bit back active in the rap game, right? Um, not just like what do you think he would do, but what do you think would be a good fit for Banks? You know, if he were to run with someone or, you know, and also let me know what you think. Do you think he would just go the independent route and just do his own thing? But if he were to get in uh, and, you know, where would he get in, where he fit in, like, w what current, um, you know, rap, collective, crew, click, whatever do you think would be a good fit for Banks? Because I'll tell you this, man, we know the rap game has changed. We know the sound of the music has changed. I still feel like Lloyd Banks 
Um, obviously, I'm sure we could all agree he still could bring us a lot of dope music and still contribute to the culture in a major way. But I still feel I feel like Banks could fit in with modern day hip hop. You feel me? Like I really do. Like what's trending and all that kind of stuff. Like I feel like Banks could fit in, but still keep it real to the kind of MC he is. You know, but kind of adapt and fit in with these new rappers. That's what I'm saying, y'all, for real. So. Let's talk about this in the comments. As I said, hit that like, subscribe, notification bell. It's Jay Coffee Talk signing out. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'm out of here. Peace.